Hello, uh, welcome back to Oracle PL SQL tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about cursor parameters. So let's try to figure out what is the problem with this kind of this piece of code. Let's say I ask you to find out the employee name and salary of a particular department. Right? And in this case, let's say department number is equal to 10. So in that case, what you did, you select uh, you, you write a cursor C1 and then you write select enum sal from EMP where department number is equal to 10. So, what I did is I hard code this department number 10. Okay. And then I use cursor for loop and then I print out the employee name and salary for this department number 10. Well, this thing is going to work for this department number 10. So, what happens if tomorrow I ask you, can you print out the for department number 20? and 30 and so on so you have a couple of options here are you going to write multiple cursors let's say for example this is my piece of code which is working right now and i what i do for department number 10 or something like i i declare cursor c2 cursor c2 is department number 20 right? and then what i do i do the same thing here again i Complete this piece of code and then I C2, another way for in C2, a loop, and then you can loop. So, this is one possibility. So, that means I can write depending on the, uh, on the value of my where condition, I can write various cursors. Okay. But this is not a scalable way of doing this thing, right? And then like you know why it's not scalable of doing this thing let's say we have just only two departments then you can write two cursors so what about we have 100 departments so are you going to write those things are, are you going to write 100 cursors at the define at the declare time right can you are, are you going to declare those things and then also that has some impact on the performance and all this thing because unnecessarily you're going to open multiple cursors that is multiple active sets that is multiple that means you know impact on the memory okay so that is not the way that you want to do this thing. So, is there any way, like, you know, if you see the query, right, the query is almost remain constant up to here. Only after the equal sign, we are changing sometimes 10, sometimes 20, sometimes 30, right? So, essentially, what Oracle gives you to deal with this kind of scenario, they give you, can we parameterize this cursor? That means, if my cursor is going to, let's say, this is my, my cursor, just to my whiteboard and try to couple of things there. So this is essentially my cursor, right? So what I'm seeing is that can I say like you no know, instead of instead of hard coding this to 10, can I put this 10 as some parameter? Let's say x, okay, and then I'm going to give a value to that x at the runtime. Okay, so that means is there any way I can give a parameter to this cursor during the declaration time and during the runtime? I'm going to give actually the value. And that is what is basically the rationale behind creating a parameterized cursor or cursor with parameters. Cursors with parameters. So here's a simple example that I wrote, rewrote that piece of code with instead of you know the like uh, if you see the old code was just cursor C1, but here I introduce a parameter. And what is the parameter name? That parameter name is B underscore department number. What is the parameter type? That parameter that that data type is a number. Okay. And then I declare select enum sal from EMP where department number is equal to whatever this is the parameter I give. I just put that there. Okay. That means at this time we do not know what is the value of department number. Okay. So in the in the previous case, like example in this case we knew during the declaration time what is the department number and in this case we do not know we just define that one as a parameter v underscore department number at this point basically this is not we do not meet department number is not and then what we do here's the interesting thing that we did same code for rec in c1 then i give you the value of the parameter right i give the value of parameter as 10 that means this select statement now become the cursor now become select enum 
comma sal from EMP where department number is equal to 10. Okay. So essentially at this point, okay, at this point we are same. So like if, if you see the compare the previous example, so for rec in C1, so here we are executing this query. And if you go exactly at this point, we're also executing same query, select enum sal from EMP for department number is equal to 10. But we make it a little bit elegant here, the code, that we are basically sending a parameter, and then tomorrow, instead of 10, I can run 20, or I can run 30, I can run 40, or whatever. Okay. Even depending on some if condition, I can put some if clause, and then I will run, I will execute this cursor on a particular department number. Okay, so this is what basically this gives me an extra ability. The parameterized cursor, parameterized cursor, gave me an you know extra ability that I can basically manipulate the where condition, the clause for the where condition. Like what 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 is the you know on this part? Okay, and this is a very important uh, you know very important uh, thing in the cursor so that you know cursor can be more become more dynamic. All right. So let's take another uh, you know example. So here in this example, what I did, I asked you the you know basically I'm just going to change the question now. Can you print department numbers? And then for each department numbers, what are the salaries? Let's say for example, department number is equal to 10, and then say department number 10 has three employees, then I will print out employee number one, employee number two employee number three and their salaries and then i'm going to print out department number 20 and their salaries department number 30 and their salaries and, and, and this this thing will continue until i finish all my department numbers okay. so how do we do this thing so basically if you see like you know that two loops the first loop is i'm getting the department number and for each department number i'm getting the employee numbers Okay, and then I'm continuing this thing until I finish my department numbers. So to achieve that, what I did, I declare a cursor C underscore DPT where I distinctly select the department number from DPT table. Okay, and so that means C underscore DPT, a cursor which has been selected an active area where I have 10, 20, and 30. Assuming that I have depart three departments in my department table. Three different departments, my department. right? And then what I did, I parameterized the cursor C1. Okay, so cursor C1 is a parameterized cursor, and I do I just pass a parameter that is V underscore department number. That is what it that's just a number. Okay. Then what I did first, I in a for loop, I open the department C underscore department cursor. That means Right now, at this point, department rec has a uh, department rec is a composite data type and it has an element called department number. So, c dot department number is some value. What is the value? The first value comes in and then place to here 10. So, for so now I have department rec dot department number is 10. Then, what I did in the for loop, in the inner for loop, I open the cursor C1, right, with the value of whatever I got in department number. That means department underscore rec dot department number. Okay. So I give this parameter during runtime to this second cursor. Well, so how this thing is executed? So first time I got 10 here. So therefore department rec dot department number becomes 10. Then I goes to the then I go to the 45th line where I open this cursor C1 with the value of 10. Okay, the value of 10, then what I do, I execute this inner loop until I am done with employee name and salary from employee table where department number is equal to 10. I have, if I have three employees that are in department number 10, then this DBMS output dot put line is going to print three lines. Then I'm going to I'm, I'm finishing the finish the inner loop. Then I'm going to outer loop and then fetch department number twenty to department underscore rec dot department number variable. Then again I'm going to reopen this cursor C1 with another department that is of the value is twenty. 
then I'm going to execute that whatever the number of employees for department number 20, I'm going to execute here and next. So this is how by using a parameterized cursor, I can change the query at the runtime. In a particular line, whatever you are seeing for rec in C1, this thing, basically this is, you know, each of time, each time I got a department number, new department number, I do not have to write a new cursor. Instead, I use the same cursor. What I did, I dynamically put the value at the runtime based on what? Based on my department number. All right. And then department number is a static cursor. It's, it's not like, you know, it's not a parameterized cursor because I don't know it that. Because I just, I, just, I just want to get all the department numbers. So this query is almost static. But this query is going to dynamically change based on the department. So this is essentially what is parameterized cursor. We will do some examples to clarify your doubts in the next videos. Thank you.